our lesson in Windows XP is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a lesson of this right here. How to run Bluetooth on Windows XP. I had a discussion with a subscriber about this. He brought it up and I have learned how to do it. Actually this Bluetooth device right here, this dongle I bought myself. This is mine. Picture of it. And if you get a Bluetooth dongle and put it on your PC, if you haven't got one built into it, and you're using Windows XP, then, and you want to make Bluetooth run on Windows XP, you need to get a Bluetooth dongle. I bought this one on eBay. I think it's about five bucks. But you can get them at Walmart. Maybe not like this one, but a Bluetooth dongle and you can get them at a home office, uh, depot, uh, you can get them at Radio Shack, and a lot of other places at different prices. But mainly it's got to be a USB Bluetooth dongle, and to be able to use it on there, as Windows XP has Bluetooth built into it, but it's a hidden file in the system files that doesn't show up unless you know where to locate it or have a software to bring it up and even then it will only send and receive a file. It doesn't show you how to add a device or anything like that. That only comes with the software end of it. And I have the software here on my hard drive and I have it also on my Dropbox which I can send files to someone if they want it. So the Windows XP software for Bluetooth I can send to you. All you have to do is request it by message to me in YouTube. So moving on with uh, how to run Bluetooth on Windows XP first you have to have your Bluetooth dongle then you have to have the software to install and before you put your Bluetooth dongle in there to find new hardware you have to have the software installed and once you install it uh, once you go to control panel and go to network and internet connections you'll have a Bluetooth devices here. This is not normally here when you bring yours up unless you've got this software installed. And once you've got this installed and that icon is there in network and internet connections you just click on it and it's going to bring this up. It's going to bring up your Bluetooth devices and normally there would be any device that you have added in here and in your options after you get your Bluetooth dongle plugged in and you got your software loaded and and you're ready to use it you'll have options for somebody to find your computer with their Bluetooth just turn turn on discovery click it and then unclick it after they have discovered you don't worry about the COM ports, that doesn't matter. The hardware, in the hardware, the one thing that you have to do is this right here. In the hardware, which it's not going to show it right now. I'm sorry about that, just hold on and I'm going to redo this. I'm going to plug in my Bluetooth dongle. Okay, now I've got it plugged in. And now we'll bring this back up again. And as you can see, my device is already there once I plugged it in. And there's one of my cell phones. There's my wife's cell phone. There's my daughter's cell phone. And my wife's uh, 
laptop computer. So I have added all these devices to my Bluetooth on my computer. Just like you would add somebody on your cell phone. But what you need to do, do once you have installed the software, even before you start uh, adding devices, the first thing you do is go here and click on that and bring this up, Bluetooth devices, and go to hardware. And the reason why you want to do this is because once you install a software, the device driver will be picked up by the one that's built into Windows. And you don't want to use that one. You want to use the one that came with this software. The one on Windows will be its first choice. So you want to click on your Microsoft Bluetooth an emulator. Go to properties and when properties comes up you want to go to the driver and you want to say update the driver and when you do it will update the driver to the newest one which will be the one that you install with this Bluetooth software then everything will work otherwise it will not work on the one built in Windows XP if you knew how to get rid of the first driver that would be fine but it picks it up once you install it so you have to update that driver so you want to get out of that and I'm going to cancel there. This one here is the same driver. You don't have to worry about it. As you can see it's working properly. This one here is working properly. So we'll get out of there. But remember, you can right click on it and say open. Or you can double click on it and make it open and then you can go to hardware just like we did a while ago I'll show you one more time go to hardware my computers run kind of slow then go to this one right here at the top Bluetooth and emulator go to properties under hardware Go to driver and update the driver. That's all you got to do. And after you do all that, get out of here, reboot your computer, reboot it, then bring it back up, plug in your Bluetooth device. Plug in your Bluetooth device and then you can right click <clears throat> and you can go to open Bluetooth settings. Right here you can add a device right there or you can right click and it will put that little icon down here for you that's where it will put it and it'll be there or you can say uh, show Bluetooth devices add a Bluetooth device send a file, receive a file, join a personal net at area network and that's pretty good just like say you want to send a file to somebody you all know how Bluetooth works then that's the way it works now on me uh, 
course, I last fall I sent was to my wife's computer, so her name is still in there as one of the devices. So I say next, and there it is. It's ready to get a file. So I'll say browse. And of course, whatever you're using, you've got to uh, have it ready to receive a file, of course. Or with ours, it's already got the code in it, so it'll tell her uh, Bluetooth device is trying to contact her. You'll see it's yes or granted. So let's say we're going to send this file right here. And there it is, ready to send. All i got to do is hit next, and it'll contact her. So that's pretty simple. And that's the way the Bluetooth works on on uh, Windows XP. <clears throat> so remember, if you want to run Bluetooth on Windows XP, get you a dongle if you ain't already got one. If you've got a built-in one that's got Windows XP, if you've got a, a module that's built into it, but you still don't know how to use it or need a software for Windows XP, just contact me through a message and I will uh, send it to you or I may just end up putting it the, the link to the software in the description in the uh, video here so if, if the link is there and I put it in there uh, just click on it and it will automatically download straight to your hard drive from my Dropbox, so uh, it be the same one that I use on this computer right here. And uh, if you're on YouTube, it may go to another page and tell you that it's trying to go to another page to download that file. And once it does, you can go right back to the video. But it's called a third party. That's what it does. But otherwise, you can copy it and paste it download it any way you want to do it but uh, I hope you enjoy this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and remember just like this subscriber want to know how to run Bluetooth on Windows XP anything that you ask me to try to uh, make a video on I'll be more than happy to do it for you if I can if not I'll find somebody that can or or I'll make a video telling you what they had to say so, uh, till the next time, this is Shannon Doyle, signing off.